Welcome to our lecture, The City of Sudbury. In this lecture, we will learn about the city in Ontario and the main information about demography and economics. Let's take a look. When it comes to information, the city of Sudbury has over 161,531 people living based on the information by town folio and the last census in 2016. We can see that the majority of the people living in the city have an income, household income of 150,000 a year, followed by an average of 60, 60 to 79,000 a year. So, very good middle class city in Ontario. The key metrics that we can see about the city of Sudbury is that it possesses a total number of visible minority of 5,765. The median age is 43 years old and the Aboriginal population is around 14,750 with the largest age cohort of people between the ages of 50 and 54. So it's basically a medium sized city and with a median income overall of $71,805 per household a year. Continue with the basic information of the city. When it comes to the labor force, we can see here in the graph, the main city is the main industry. It comes from mining, construction, manufacturing, wholesale, retail, transportation, and healthcare, accommodations, entertaining, education, administration, and public administration. So these are all the industry that you can find here in the city. And here the occupation uh, based on management, business, sciences, health, education, and law, sales and services constitute a big chunk of the labor participation, and then also trade and transportation. So, interesting city to see with information about the unemployment rate is 8.3, not bad, and also with the participation uh, rate of 62. 0.6% of population working. The main industry, main employer is healthcare, and the largest industry by occupation is sales and services. In a smaller proportion, you find in management and also in manufacturing. So if you're a person that have work experience in healthcare, then the city of Sudbury should be a good choice for you as well as if you have experience in sales and services. When it comes to the tax system here, it's not very different than the other cities in Northern Ontario. And we can see the key metrics here about the percentages that apply depending on these key metrics. When it comes to the weather, the average temperature in January is minus 37, being the coldest month of the year and we can see that when it comes to snowball the average is January with 100 a bit higher and than in other cities in on under Ontario and 101 centimeters in February so basically January and February are very busy with a lot of snowfall we can see that the highest temperature they, they experiment in the city is 31 during the summer and minus 37 during the winter and uh, the month of January is the most unpredictable month of the year. Continue with information about home ownership. The majority of people own their homes in Sudbury and a, a smaller proportion are renters. The majority of the people also possess a three-bedroom house and second will be people that are with four or more bedrooms. The average price of a home in Sudbury is around 298842 a little higher than some other cities in Northern Ontario. You can see that the average rent is a little also higher, it's uh, 1046 and the number of renters is around 23,675 uh, people. So. Interesting, the average uh, dealing is three bedrooms, typical in that area. And 
the construction period basically around 2230 so when it comes to transportation the majority of people as well own their own vehicle and in a smaller amount use vehicle passenger and public transportation there's around 82.63% of vehicle drivers in the city of Sudbury and there's a busy time of roads is between 7 a.m. and 7 uh, 59 a.m. basically that's a rush time in the city when it comes to education the majority of people are high school educated or have no certificate and then you have a dollar proportion that is university degrees education is basically focused on engineering and technology and transportation and services business and management and social sciences has to be the biggest field of study in the population the most popular field of study is engineering and the key metrics about health fear is 18 percent in, in health fear and 1.46 in agriculture and 17 17.19 17 percent in studies in business and finally when it comes to businesses you can see that in constructions there's uh, around 1090 businesses uh, focus on construction so if you have experience in construction you have a lot of opportunities manufacturing is lower with only 254 wholesale 345 retail 945 so you have experience in retail then you have some good opportunities here the majority of businesses are small businesses and basically real estate is a big chunk of business opportunities that you have here in the city as well as, as entertaining and accommodations so the biggest uh, employers basically will be real estate and also manufacturing businesses are around 254 healthcare business is 1132 and then you can find a big chunk of businesses focus on real estate so hopefully you can see also opportunities when it comes to education and let's take a look the city of Sudbury offers good opportunity for people looking to study as an international student in Canada and in a location that is part also of the rural and northern immigration pilot program and for that the Loretian University is, is a good choice we can see here the international program when you can review it for undergraduate admission and graduate admissions you have all the information tuition and fees information here information about graduate programs on the graduate programs international student services that you can receive in the university graduate admissions undergraduate admissions and more information about the city why the university international student scholarships that are available information about learning english housing and, and food the team to travel to Sudbury, the university global opportunities and the network so you got a, a lot of good information and you can also follow the information in social media for the Laurentian University who is present in YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Any questions you can contact this information here with the email and phone number and again more information while you visit in the website. Another institution that you also can use will be the Cambrian College in Sudbury and they have a program for international students as well. So you can check here all the information about the programs, how to apply, how to pay and if you use international aging application so you can see the information right here and it's important to see that they have all the information pertinent to your needs from college costs application the payments the services the programs and how to be eligible and they have also in different languages that you can see here spanish italian portuguese english filipino and also some uh, from China, uh, Korea, and Vietnam. And they have an international career guide here you can download and check when you visit the website. And social media is also a present when you can follow them in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and some key uh, messaging uh, that you can do and keep contacts with the university and college. So just take a look at this resource and Hopefully you can appreciate the opportunity also 
at this Cambrian College. Another institution that you can check is College Boreal, and they have French and English information. Yeah, for international applicants, they have an admission process that you can follow here, the loans of all the forms, the information about the payments, the information about the email that you can contact for any questions that you might have, the payment options that you have, the deadlines, the tuition fee, and some useful guidelines here that you can use for information. I hope you enjoyed this lecture, important information about Sudbury, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.